listed it and it sold quick for $31, my sale price. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, are these my big money bolos? No, these are called bread and butter. So these are items I sold for $35 or less. I will say I had these cute little earrings listed for a long time, but they did sell. And I picked them up at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold them for $19 and 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. So the buyer was all in for $26.52 on these. These are vintage earrings, clip on gold tone mesh drop. And they are little dangles, super cute clip ons. And that is what they look like. The next one is this Kalu teddy bear from 2016. It says French brand. And I sold this guy right here is what it says on the arm. I sold it for $32.50 plus shipping. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $1. And that is what it says. So I have never seen this brand before, but it seemed like a nice quality bear that was kind of different. So I took a chance and that is what it sold for. Calico Critters. If you can find the vintage ones, I always pick these up. They're a nice little bread and butter. I got this at an estate sale for a quarter. I actually got a big bag full and divided it out. So probably about a quarter in this. Not very big. I guess this is a hedgehog. Google Lens told me that. If you don't know how to use Google Lens, type in Bolo Buddy Google Lens into the YouTube search. And I have a tutorial that will show you how to use it. It is free. Now, if you look here back where I showed the foot, it has an issue. This sold for $18.60 in the condition you see it. So it is not perfect and it still sold for that much. Plus the buyer paid tax and shipping, putting them all in at $26.35. The next item is this Wild Republic Orca plush killer whale stuffed animal ocean toy. It's not very big. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I ended up selling it for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. So about 14 inches on that. The next item is this vintage 1994 Mattel Barbie Ken Shaving Fun Doll. If you want to see how this works over on my reseller testing Bolo products, I have a video where I show you how to shave this guy. So um, it did take a while to sell. I priced him kind of high. My husband picked this up and he's like, you wanted Barbies, right? And I'm like, sure. Anytime you can get boxed Barbies, bring them home if they're cheap. So I don't remember what he paid. I want to say three to five dollars. And he brought me home a whole bunch of them from a garage sale. But I ended up taking a best offer of 30 plus shipping. You can see the box is pretty bent up, but it still sold. But the fun part is, is seeing how this guy worked. I had never seen this guy before. So if you want to see how it works, you can check it over on my other channel. Super funny. All right, guys, I just decided to take you over. I got to show you this. If you don't want to watch it, just skip ahead. All right, here we go. This is the Shaving Fun Ken. It is definitely vintage. We'll just put a little squirt, oh, maybe too much, right there. Probably just need a teeny tiny bit. And we're going to. Oh, look at this setup. This little, <laughs> look at it. That's pretty big for him. But we're going to just put it on his face here. Let's see. Maybe I should have shook it because it definitely doesn't look like it's lathering. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. It's just for fun any anyhow for kids. So we're gonna put it on his beard, get him all ready to go. And we're gonna see if this thing still works. And I, I may have to go, oh, whoa, not very good at this. I may have to go and get hotter water. All right, let's see. Let's see if this is hot enough. Mm. Let's see. Oh, there we go. You really have to, there he goes. Oh my goodness. He's losing his beard, guys. Get this shirt off. Oh man, he is, he is clean cut. Look at this, guys. All right, I know that was impressive. I've got like really mad Barbie shaving skills, right? All right, here we go. These are two wood handle stainless Japan fondue ladle spoons, lot of two. Not a super fast sale. Just, I, I want to say they were in a bag of things that I picked up. 
and I probably had about a quarter in it. Sold it for $8 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. So just a nice little keep things in your store, keep things active, keep new buyers coming in. Possibly they'll buy something else. And we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. That one was over 35. You'll see that one in another video. This is an ornament. I got this out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. So I probably had a dollar or less in it. I did take a best offer of $9 on this one and the buyer paid shipping. Didn't have a lot in it. Easy to list, easy to ship. I like items like that. This was not something I sourced. Again, it came in a thrift store mystery box. Did take a little while to sell, but I did make a profit. This sold super fast. I got this at the Goodwill Bins. It was in the original uh, cellophane here. And I'm going to consider this a bolo because listed it and it sold quick for $31. My sale price probably had two bucks in it by weight at the Goodwill bins. So definitely be on the lookout. It's tailor-made tit titanium head cover golf club. Being in the original packaging probably helped me sell that. This is an interesting item. It's a vintage magnetic needlework charts, graphs, holder, magnetic magnifier. I don't even know what this thing is. I got it from an estate sale, if I remember correctly, and it was just in with a bunch of stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. I sold it for a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys. So let me go back over here. I am going to take you now into another video where I discuss with you how having lots of smalls in your store can create buyers to bundle. So let's talk about that. And if you want to learn how to create a coupon, I also have a video on that. All right, Bolo Buddies, why do I sell bread and butter? Why do I sell replacement parts? Why do I sell items that you walk past? Well, here's a good example. So I talked to you guys about selling replacement parts and I just listed this on Saturday and today is Monday and I sold this replacement part. Now, did it sell for big money? Nope, it didn't sell for big money. But guess what? The buyer also bought this guy and this replacement seat that goes to the semi truck. So this one sale resulted in two other sales for a total of, I'm gonna show you, and this is why getting items in your store that may not be high dollar could result in other sales. So they bundled all three of these items. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, the blue chair, got it at the bins, so it was probably a quarter. The Paw Patrol Jungle Rescue Rider figure, got it at the bins, so probably around a quarter. Same thing, got it at the bins, probably around a quarter. So my cost of goods for these three items was about 75 cents. Those three items sold for $23.40 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $28.98 with the discount. All right, so I just took the three parts, pieces, toys, put them in one piece of bubble wrap. I'm going to put it right in here. Easy to list, easy to ship. I mean, why not? We've got $23.40 um, less than a dollar in this. Got it all at the Goodwill bins. Check out some of my Goodwill bins videos to see other items I pick up at the bins and throw it in a box and it is ready to go. So that's why I sell bread and butter. Okay, so I also want to point out here, it says sold with buy one, get one 25% off coupon promotion. So if you go in to any of my eBay listings, almost all of them have buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon. And they put this in their cart at checkout. So what this person did is they added the three items to their cart and it automatically applied the discount. So this is a great feature to have. You can make it say whatever you want. You can also send coupons to followers and coupons to people who have purchased from you in the past. I have a video on that and I will show you what that looks like. All right, you guys. So most of my videos are about items to be on the lookout for items that you can buy low and sell for a profit. But I do have tutorials. If you go to my YouTube search and type coupon here, it's going to pull up this video and it is going to show you how to send coupons to followers, people who have bought from you in the past, and also how to create that coupon like you saw 
on the page of my item. That is a great way to draw attention and get um, increased uh, multi-purchases from one per person. So somebody buying more than one item from you at the same time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. This is just a short video and a reminder not to pass up those smalls. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.